Ever wondered why some people have marks on their skin that look like a splash of coffee with milk? These are not spilled lattes, but a type of skin pigmentation called cafe au lait spots. Let's dive deeper and explore these coffee with milk marks. Cafe au lait spots are macules, usually present at birth or appear during childhood. They may increase in number and size as a person ages. The term cafe au lait comes from French and means coffee with milk, reflecting the light to dark brown color of these spots. They can appear anywhere on the body, but the most common locations are the trunk and extremities. There are two main types of cafe au lait spots, one that resembles the coast of California with clearly defined borders. These are more common and can be solitary or multiple. The other type resembles the coast of Maine with irregular borders. These are less common and are usually larger and solitary. While typically harmless, cafe au lait spots can be associated with several disorders including neurofibromatosis type 1, McCune or Bright syndrome, Noonan's syndrome, and Leopard syndrome. Let's now discuss each of these disorders. Beginning with neurofibromatosis. It is a hereditary disorder that are of eight types, of which type 1 is the most common. It is also known as von Recklinghausen's disease of the skin. Patients with neurofibromatosis type 1 develop multiple neurofibromas that appear anywhere on the body. Neurofibromas can vary in size and appearance, ranging from small, firm nodules to large, loose, hanging masses. The presence of cafe au lait pigmentation is a characteristic feature. Axillary freckling, called crow's sign, and brown pigmented spots on the iris, called lish nodules, are also commonly seen in neurofibromatosis 1. Enlargement of fungiform papillae is a common oral manifestation. Radiographs may reveal enlargement of the foramen in the mandible and canal, increased bone density and a larger coronoid notch in the jawbone. The diagnostic criteria for neurofibromatosis type 1 are met if a patient has two or more of the following features. Six or more cafe au lait macules over 5 mm in greatest diameter in prepubertal persons and over 15 mm in postpubertal persons. Two or more neurofibromas of any type or one plexiform neurofibroma. Freckling in the axillary or inguinal regions. Optic glioma. Two or more Lish nodules. An osseous lesion such as phenoid dysplasia. A first degree relative with neurofibromatosis type 1 based on the above criteria. Next, let us discuss McCune or Bright syndrome. This is a genetic disorder characterized by three main features. These are polystotic fibrous dysplasia, cafe au lait spots, and multiple endocrinopathies. Polystotic fibrous dysplasia refers to fibrous dysplasia in two or more bones. Multiple endocrinopathies encompass various hormonal imbalances that can manifest in these patients. These are early puberty, pituitary adenoma, and hypothyroidism. Moving on to Noonan syndrome associated with cafe au lait spots. These individuals develop distinct facial characteristics in early childhood, which change as they age. These features include hypotelorism, which is wider than average spacing between eyes, low set ears, ptosis or drooping of upper eyelids, high forehead and down slanting palpebral fissures. During adulthood, facial features may show signs of premature aging. Additionally, the jawbone may lengthen, giving the face a triangular shape. Following a diagnosis of Noonan syndrome, a comprehensive evaluation of various organ systems is recommended. This evaluation typically includes cardiac evaluation, including echocardiography and electrocardiograph, ophthalmologic evaluation, 
audiologic evaluation, renal ultrasound, coagulation profile for potential clotting disorders, development assessment, imaging of chest and back for skeletal abnormalities. Let us now understand what is Leopard syndrome. It is a rare genetic disorder characterized by a group of specific features which the acronym itself helps to remember. L stands for numerous lentigenes which are large brown freckles primarily covering the face but can appear anywhere on the body. E is for electrocardiogram abnormalities. O stands for ocular hypertelorism. P represents pulmonary stenosis which means the pulmonary valve in the heart is too narrow or stiff, restricting blood flow from the heart to the lungs. A stands for abnormal genitalia. R represents retardation of growth. And D stands for sensory neural deafness, which refers to hearing loss due to damage to the inner ear, auditory nerve or central nervous system. This video covers four significant syndromes associated with cafe au lait spots. For further reference, a table of additional syndromes linked to cafe au lait pigmentation is provided below. Feel free to take a screenshot. We have thus come to the end of this video. Hope you had fun learning with us.